Now, an equivalent way of doing what I've done here with the loop, if I just is to just actually drag the variable over uh, from the integral block and multiply fish uh, by, by multiply by fish is equal and integrate is the number of fish. And notice when the dots are there. If I press the delete key, I can delete that line. Now, if I right click here and choose copy the variable, not cop not copy the entire integration function, but copy the variable alone, I've got fish over here. And I can just now make exactly the same equation. Let's stop and start that again. Exactly the same equation. And with that, so that's that's easy to read, I think, from the feedback loop. But you can do either way. Now let's actually add sharks to this. And what I'm going to do here, if I again, we're trying to use as many keyboard shortcuts as possible. If I type the integral key here, pardon me, what am I? What the integral key? It's the ampersand. We're trying to use key uh, key characters in the same sense that the program MathCAD does which look like what you're trying to insert onto a palette. So if you type the ampersand key in Minsky at the moment, that gives you an integral block. Now if you right click here and choose edit, I can change the name of that to sharks. Thank you very much for somebody starting up a lawnmower outside the, the room I'm in. Let's say there's uh, five sharks initially. Now I've got sharks there and I can reproduce exactly the same equation here. Now again, I can type straight onto the keyboard. I don't need to bring a variable down. Or if I just now type S underscore, and you can see it's turning up beneath the keyboard right there, just unfortunately the icon obscures it somewhat, but you can see if now I type S underscore GR, I press enter, that's now created a variable called SGR. If I go and type and edit that, uh, I'll just make that lower case inside the curly brackets, and say that's the, well that's actually the death rate of fish, let's actually make that DR, and say that the fish can die at a rate of sharks died at a rate of 100% on an on a annual basis. Uh, there's an exponential decay rate. So without fish to eat, the sharks are going to starve to death. So I click on OK there. And notice I've now got this, um, this variable here. Let's now go choose right click and choose copy the variable of sharks over here. And I put a come here and type a multiply key. Now I need to make it minus. So I've got to put it through a minus block. And again, I can just type the minus key and that appears on the canvas wherever I typed it. Now a little trick we have here, if you're going through the minus block, you basically create a negative of the value you're talking about. So I'm now saying that's the death death rate of sharks will be mean the shark numbers fall over time. So I go over here and I could graph it on the same scale as here, but of course that would look, um, well I'll do that first off and just demonstrate that. Let's do that, stop the system and graph it, and of course one's going down to zero, the other's going to infinity, it's actually probably better, let's just delete that line, to take a copy of the variable again, pop it over here, and if I right click, one of the options there is flip, so I can turn it around, and now I can attach that to the first output of the Y2 axis, let's graph that, okay, and now I can show both effects at one time. Let's stop that and I'll go to the next stage of Dream Credit to Prey and show a few more tricks in Minsky.